Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little different, and if you haven't already checked out my Louis Vuitton unboxing, please make sure to do so. But if you have, you know that I did pick up three items for my birthday. I was going to buy a handbag, but then I thought for the cost of that handbag, I could get all of these travel items. And with all the travel I have coming up in the future, I thought these would be really useful. However, if you are familiar with Louis Vuitton Vachetta, you know that it's very prone to water spots, rain spots. If you just touch something, touch it, it's gonna get stained. So one thing I like to do is I like to treat my Vachetta with Apple Guard. Now, this is a disclaimer, okay? Please do your research. I obviously am not a professional. I am just a regular gal that likes Louis Vuitton but wants to protect her items. So please do your research before you decide to spray any of your items. But the reason I wanna spray these today is because these are items that are going to get a lot of use. I have my Keep All 55 that I'm going to use for travel. I also have this Nice BB and I do plan on using this for makeup and then I also do have this little guy right here and this is the Dop Kit. And I am going to be putting these to good use. But one thing I would like to do is prevent the straps from getting watermarks. Now, I totally know that by using this, these items, they're going to get wear and tear. But I have gotten some watermarks on a couple of my other bags. And it just doesn't look good. So I want to do whatever possible to try to protect it. So that's where the Apple Guard comes in. So when I filmed that unboxing video and I mentioned that I was going to spray this with Apple Guard, I did have a couple requests to share with you how I do it and that's what I'm going to do today. Now, if you didn't check out a prior video, I did spray my Nano Speedy with Apple Guard a few years ago and the results were absolutely amazing and I wanted to show you today. So I did spray it a while ago and you can see it looks absolutely beautiful. I use this bag and it doesn't have any like watermarks or stains or anything like that and the strap is great as well. Now I do have the older Speedy so it's not the one that has the adjustable straps but you can see it looks good. So because this worked out so great I thought you know what I think I'm going to spray my travel pieces as well. So what we're going to do today I'm going to spray all three of these pieces and then I'm going to show you what the items look like after you spray it and then probably what I'm going to have to do is do like an update video to share with you how these have worn over time and keep in mind I do also plan on doing like what's in my bags and reviews on these three pieces once I've had the chance to use them. But in today's video, we are going to spray them. So I, I know a lot of people have a lot of different brands they like. I particularly like Apple Guard. This is going to keep your leather and your suede water repellent and stain resistant. Now, one thing I would recommend doing before you spray your item is I would recommend just testing out a little tiny piece before you spray the whole thing. So I know that this works, so I don't necessarily have to test out a piece because I did try it on this one. But I think what I'm gonna do, we are going to change locations. And I was initially going to do this outside, but it's a pretty chilly day. So I think what I'm gonna do is do it on the countertop of my kitchen on the island because there is a big space because I really want you guys to be able to see how I do it. Now, I will just spray the Vachetta, but have gotten a lot of feedback from people that say they spray the canvas too, but I don't. I will just mainly focus on these areas right here. Now, one thing I do want to be mindful of is I do want to be mindful of the zipper and, and the metal. I don't want to spray this part, just this top. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So I know this was a long intro, but I just wanted to kind of give you a background on everything as well as give you an update on this little Nano Speedy. This is kind of proof for me that it does work. So we are going to move to my kitchen and we are going to spray each piece one by one. I have the three items set up. I just set it up on my counter space in my kitchen because this is a pretty large area, but you can see here is my beautiful keep ball with the Vachetta. I have my Nice BB and then this is the Dop Kit. So I wanted to kind of give you an overview of what they look like before and we are going to spray each item. 
We are going to start with the Nice BB. I am so excited to use this for travel. I really think it's gonna come in handy to hold all of my makeup items, but again, I'm gonna be touching it all the time, so I wanna make sure I protect it. Now, let me show you the inside. I don't think I'm going to spray the inside of the bag because I did get an organizer, which is really, really great, so I'm not really gonna worry about the interior as much, but I definitely wanna preserve of the exterior so one thing I did I did put a large towel down and this might be a little extra but I did this just because if I'm spraying a part of the bag I just like to focus on that part so what I did I took a paper towel and I just cut out a slit with some scissors so then that way when I spray I can just focus on the vachetta portion but there are a lot of people that say it's totally okay to spray the canvas but I just like to focus on the vachetta so here is the apple guard now one thing the directions do say on the apple guard is here you want to spray six to nine inches away so let's go ahead and we are going to spray it okay so you can see when I sprayed it for the first time I was actually freaking out a little bit when I did my nano because you can see the spots on it and I thought oh my gosh please tell me those go away and they do but we'll, we're spraying it and then we have to wait 30 minutes so while this is drying we'll do the next one now you can see the bottom here that's fascetta as well but I'm only gonna worry about the handle so let's put this to the side and then we'll move on to the next piece all right, now we have the dop kit, and the only part I'm really concerned with on the dop kit is this little handle right here because I am going to be touching it quite a bit. So I'm actually... So I'm taking a towel and I'm kind of pulling it through like it's like that and we are going to go ahead and spray and again I'm not going to really worry about this part right here you can if you want if you want to spray the canvas but again I just usually spray this part okay and there is one more part to the bag and it is the Louis Vuitton it is the tab here okay so I just took a paper towel put it under it, and then I put the towel on top and we are going to spray Louis Vuitton Paris you see that? Now don't get scared by that. I promise you it will go away. Okay, so we are good to go. We're going to put this aside. All right, now we have the big boy here, and this one has a few more Vachetta pieces. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the strap. So I'm just going to remove the strap from the bag. And see I just laid the strap out and I don't know let's see this part right here I think what I might do is just put maybe like a little piece over top of it kind of covering it like that and we'll go ahead and we will spray the strap gonna carefully flip it over and we're gonna do the other side okay now we'll move that to the side okay the bag is a little trickier because there are a lot of different bruschetta pieces and you know what I think I'm going to just do let's see here I think what I'm going to do 
kind of cover this side a little bit and then let me get another towel okay, and then cover this side a little bit here and see if I can find something that would fit on the inside there okay I have another <laughs> towel that I'm going to put like this here here we have the towel and I'm just gonna try to be really careful of the little buttons. Like I might actually put my finger there. Okay. Oh my gosh, now that's scary, you guys. That is scary. Now I'm going to do the handle, which I don't think you can really see. Okay. And then we have this little guy right here. Oh my God, that is a little scary. All right, we're going to flip it. once again where I'm trying to cover this now am I being a little extra probably like do you really have to cover it this much you might not have to do that but I'm just trying to be as careful as possible so let's do this side to do the sides of the bag. First. All right, so here's the first side. Here's the other side. All right. And I think. Okay, so I think I got all of the sides of the bag. I think I got all the spots. Okay, so there's that one, and then over there I have the Nice BB as well as the Dop Kit, and these are both drying. So what I'm gonna do is you're supposed to let it sit for 30 minutes. We will come back and we will take a look. Okay, I actually just sprayed the handles a little more since that is what I'm gonna be touching the most along with the strap. It's been about 30 minutes, and I wanna just give you a close-up. So here, is the niece bb and you can see looks nice it was a little scary at first because you spray it so it makes you think water spots are gonna stay but looks great and then here is the dop kit and let me show you looks nice okay let's go over here Sprayed that and that was a little scary to spray, but it looks good. Okay, then here is the strap. Looks good. 
the bag. I really want to check out the handle here. Look, it looks nice, brand new. Very happy with it. Now what you can do if you want is you can spray it again, but I think that looks pretty good. So we are done spraying my bag. Now only time will tell, but I do have a few tips for you guys. Number one, if you are going to spray your bag with Apple Guard, of course, test out a little piece before you do the whole entire bag. I had already done my Nano Speedy, so I knew it worked, which is why I didn't do that. Number two, I was looking for a large space to do this so that I could show you guys. I'd probably recommend if you do spray it because of the fumes, definitely do it outside, but it is pretty chilly today and I wasn't sure if you guys would be able to hear me okay with the wind. So I did do it in my kitchen. Probably not the best move, but I wanted to do that for demonstration purposes so you could see it. And then number three, I, d I was trying to be extremely careful by putting a towel down on the actual canvas, but there are a lot of people that say you can actually spray the canvas. I just wanted to focus mainly on the vachetta, and then I also did try to be a little careful of the hardware as well. Now, was it perfect? No, it definitely wasn't perfect, but I am pretty excited so far. Here is my dop kit. As you could see, it still looks brand new. Now, when you do spray it, make sure you are spraying it six to nine inches away, but it will be a little scary at first and you'll think that you ruined your bag and you actually did what you were trying to avoid and added water spots, but I assure you that it looks brand new. So again, I mainly wanted to focus on like the handles of the bags and the straps because that's what I'm gonna to be touching a lot. I didn't do the interior of the bag. I also did not do this edge trim here either. Some people might just spray the whole bag, but I just like to be a little more careful. So that was the dop kit. Here is the Nice BB and you can see it looks nice. Now again, keep in mind that I did spray it so it's going to prevent the water spots and the stains. However, it will still patina a little bit. Like you can see this one, it has started to patina a little bit. It's not quite as light as it used to be, but it's just gonna keep it so that it's overall uniform. So very beautiful and then you can see my bag. I would say out of the three, the bag was definitely the trickiest because it had the vachetta and it also had the canvas and I was trying to make sure that I didn't spray the hardware. That could be okay, but I just don't want to add the potential of it tarnishing. So just be very careful around the hardware. I'll leave you it outside because of the fumes and then you can treat it. And then one thing I would recommend too is the directions also say that you can do periodic updates. Now, I have not done updates to my Nano Speedy and it still is great. So a lot of people don't like to use Apple Guard because they want it to patina naturally and they don't care about the rain spots. But for me, I know I'm gonna be using this and I know that it's gonna get dirty. Even with me spraying it, I know I'm gonna get stains, but I just want to prevent as many stains as possible. So definitely do your research if you decide to do it. But what I will do, I will definitely keep you guys updated as I use these more and stay tuned because I plan on doing a lot of videos like sharing with you what fits in these items as well but if you have any questions at all please feel free to reach out I will link the Apple Guard in the description and I'll also link these three items on the pre-love market in case you're interested I think these are really going to be functional and come in handy so thank you guys so much for watching I would love to have you hit that little subscribe button if you're new to my channel and follow me on Instagram as well and if you guys have sprayed your bags with Apple Guard let me know has it turned out well has it not so so far, I am pleasantly surprised. I know there are a lot of other products people use too. I have even used Apple Guard on my sneakers as well, on my white sneakers, and it's kept them looking nice. So again, this can be used on leather or suede, mainly to prevent stains and water spots. So thank you guys again. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in my next video.